What's up folks? We're going to do something a little different today. Try out some expansion tests on a 9mm bullet. Stick around. The bullet mold being tested today is an NOE TLC 357-135RF. It has two versions of the hollow point pins. One's a shallow point and one's a deep point. These are made with wheel weights. They're air cooled and around 13 BHN. I'm using the Lee Auto Breach Lock Pro progressive mode, loading these up with 3.5 grains of Winchester 231. I'm using the Lee bullet feeder and the case feeder to make the process a lot faster. And since I shoot a lot of 9mm, I kind of avoid actually cleaning the cases. I just run them through the full length carbide sizing die on station number one, load them up, put a new primer, dump powder, and seat the bullet. It's got a mild taper crimp onto it as well. Cartridge overall length is 1.041. That seems to pass the plunk test on the Torx G2C. Okay, first up is the hollow, shallow point, hollow points. Torx G2C, shooting to the water. So it looks like the deep hollow points are the clear winner here. At 13 BHN and 940 FPS, these are expanding very nice compared to the shallow points. Let's try some Navy SEAL style shooting. These 9mm bullets are only traveling around 11 feet. It loses power around 4 feet. They got full function underwater. Huh? They got full function underwater. It locked back. <laughs> huh? So in conclusion, these deep hollow points do very well in a 9mm around 940 FPS. The firearm I was shooting today was a cheap Taurus G2C. It has a 3.3 inch barrel and these are traveling 940 FPS. Now I don't recommend doing this at home on your pool, but if you do decide to do this, make sure you wear over the ear ear pro because the hydraulic compression of a fired round underwater will blow your eardrums out. Now for the shallow hollow point version of these bullets, I think these would do well on a 357 Magnum. Going around 1200 or 1100 FPS, they may start uh, expanding and doing better. Well folks, that's all I got for now. I hope you liked this video. If you do, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next video.